guys <laughs> today i'm super super excited because we're talking about my favorite subject which is composting uh as you know <laughs> africans we don't like questing maliza your chakula i want to see an empty clean plate i need you to clean your plate and make sure that there is nothing on your plate so coming from that conditioning i always feel bad when i have to throw away things and so even when we moved here i just used to my kitchen scraps and the organic stuff from the kitchen i just used to give it to cows i hadn't even started farming but i just used to think oh this is such good stuff for cows and wasai cows pass through my house every day so let me just share that with them yeah so so i started composting what you need in a compost is organic matter so let me show you how i do mine lot of everything there is some um, chicken so we get these things from kitengela from those guys who do woodwork the chips the wood chips so that the chicken are warm and dry so we pour this in every morning because we see the houses almost every other day and then this is just farm waste it's not even from the kitchen we need a little bit from the kitchen so that it can be fully organic you know like fruits and those other tomatoes kind of those squishy squishy kind of organic wastes are very good to mix them with the hard stuff so like here we have cuttings from the compound which is a hedge so you can also mix that hard stuff with the soft stuff you have to kind of find your middle ground and then we are going to put on some water into the pit and then we just wait for it to decompose Using this heat, this beautiful heat from God, we use it just to, uh, the heat just decomposes, so it makes sure that it breaks down all that fiber and makes it into much smaller pieces, and then it just turns it into what it was supposed to be. This is why, you guys, I never want to be cremated. Cremated is where people, when you die and you ask your family to take your body to the crematory so that it's burnt and they get the ash for me please don't criminate don't cremate me because i've taken so much from the earth i want to become manure and give back to the earth so yeah so this is like life it's a cycle right guys life it, it just it comes and we are born and then we grow up and then we die which is part of life i don't know why people are not accepting that death is part of life if you're accepting birth then you have to accept their death it's like yin yang it goes together you can't say you can't expect that someone will live forever and i'm talking this as a mother you can't expect that nothing you know like death would never happen no after my sister died I have finally accepted death so it's part of life and it's okay it's not taboo to talk about death this is African <laughs> taboo to not talk about death but it is part of the same scale if we live here forever it won't be fun anyway so this is a compost this is where my plants come to die and in their death they nourish and feed the other new plants that are coming up do you guys see that so as you can see on this side is the fresh compost which we are going to add water and keep turning once a month for about five to six months that's how long it takes to make fertilizer organically and then so this heap here is still a lot of fertilizer as you can see it tends to start looking at like soil this is not soil this is manure it was once this and then it became this and then because i have cities in so this is also the last manure that we removed before we started the new heap. It's good to have a cycle. I'm supposed to have chambers, but I don't have that. So this is the one that is ready to go into the crops. And this one will be ready once it breaks down to this fine thing that you see over here. So yeah, it's pretty plain and simple. Don't add any chemicals. We don't add anything else. Just water and natural sunlight and you get your compost. So guys, if you have that in your farm, 
cuttings we prune our farms all the time we declutter our farm all the time so find the corner make that your pet project and eventually it might become just where you source for your organic fertilizer so guys i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know how i can improve on that as well thank you So what you also need to do, after you've put all your decomposable stuff into the pit, you come and add a layer of manure. So we don't have cows, we don't have animals, we just have rabbits, which also I will show you how we use that to make sure that we are organic farmers fully. Uh, but we don't have cows, so we go to our neighbors who have cows and we ask them, can we buy or borrow your manures? And then we come and layer it on top so that to increase that heat, to increase that temperature and that those bacteria, because it's bacteria that break it down. It's not necessarily the heat. It's good to have warmth, but the, the bacteria are the ones that eat, 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 munch, munch, munch. So that layer of manure really helps, especially if you find a very wet one that you just cover nicely to make sure that all living things underneath are thriving. Yes, they are not affected by extreme weather. Yeah, so guys, this is my com decomposable pit. This is where I burn my rubbish. And that's where I put my organic stuff so that it's, it decomposes.